How are you doing, Math Learners? This is your free access YouTube Edu Creator, Math Teacher Ash, and welcome to another reviewer series in preparation for the first quarter examination for Grade Eight Mathematics. All right, in this video, we will have four parts review series. So I hope you finish all four parts. We will divide it into ten questions each, so that it would not be very burdensome for you to study. Okay, you can go back to any questions that you like. And of course, if you are still new to the channel, please click that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of the School Clear Math videos just like this. So without further ado, let's do this. Question number one. What is the mean of the data set 3, 7, 5, 9, and 1? Is it A, 5, B, 6, C, 7, or D, 8? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Alright, my dear math learners, if we are talking about mean, it is basically adding all of the cases or all of the numbers and divided by the number of cases. So, in this scenario, we have five numbers. So, therefore, we just add 3, 7, 5, 9, and 1, and then you divide it by 5. So, if we try to add them, that would be 3 plus 7, 10, plus 5, 15, plus 9, that would be 24, plus 1, 25, and then divide it by 5. The answer is letter A, 5. Let's check whether we are correct. Alright, now let us go to question number 2. What best describes the median of a data set? Is it A, the sum of all values divided by the number of values? B, the number that appears most frequently? C, the middle value when the data is arranged in order, or D, the difference between the largest and the smallest values. I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. Alright, my dear math learners, this question is very, very easy. Why? Because if we are talking about median, it is the definition of arranging them from highest to lowest or lowest to highest and getting the middle value and that is in letter very good letter c let's check whether we are correct all right easy right so now let us go to question number three the shoe sizes of a soccer team are six eight ten seven 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 six eight nine seven and eight what is the mode is it a six B7, C8, or D9? I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. All right, my dear math learners, another easy question because if we are talking about mode, it is the most frequently occurring value. So in this given, we have the number seven, which is the most frequent, which happened to occur four times so therefore the correct answer for this given question is letter b seven let's check whether we are correct all right now let us go to question number four a class has test scores 70 75 80 85 and 90 the mean is 80 which statement is true about the class performance is it a most students scored above average B, the scores are skewed to the right. C, the scores are evenly distributed around the mean. Or D, the median is lower than the mean. I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, in this scenario, we have five numbers. 70, 75, 80, 85, and 90. If we can observe, the difference between each numbers are five, right? And... The mean here is already been given, which is 80. So therefore, it is also the median. Because since our scenario here of values is being arranged from smallest to highest and the middle value is 80, this is also as well as the mean. And as we can see, there are two numbers or two values higher than 80 and two numbers lower than 80. So therefore, in this scenario, we can say that the scores are evenly distributed around the mean. So that is letter C. Let's check whether we are correct. All right. Now let us go to question number five. A data set has five numbers. The mode is two, the median is three, and the mean is four. And the difference between the largest and the smallest number is six. 
what are the five numbers? Is it A, 2, 2, 3, 5, and 8? B, 2, 2, 3, 4, and 8? C, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 7? Or letter D, 2, 2, 3, 6, and 8? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. All right, my dear math learners, in this given situation, we have a lot of given. The first one is the mode is 2. So meaning, the most occurring number is 2. If we check letter A, that is correct. If we check letter B, that is also correct. If we check letter C, it's not correct because 2 is not repeating. And if we check letter D, that is also correct. So therefore, A, B, and D are the only choices that we have. The next scenario is the median is 3. So, if we check these are five numbers, it is arranged from smallest to highest. Then, we will check the middle number. That is 3, 3, and 3. So, both A, B, and D are um, satisfying the given scenario. The next is the mean is 4. Now, if we add these five numbers and divide it by 5, the value should be 4. So, if we could consider, we could skip this scenario and we can go to the last statement, which is, the difference between the largest and the smallest number is 6. So the largest is 8 here for letter A and the smallest is 2. If we subtract 8 and 2, that would be 6. Okay, so this could be a possibility. Letter B, 8 and 2, that could also be a possibility. For letter D, 8 and 2, that could also be a possibility. So therefore, we only need to verify the third. So we need to add the five numbers given and we divide it by 5. And if the answer is 4, then that would be our answer. So let's check for letter A. We have 2 plus 2, that is 4, plus 3, that is 7, 7 plus 5, that would be 12, 12 plus 8, that would be 20, and 20 divided by 5, because there are 5 numbers here, that is very good. That is 4. So therefore, letter A already satisfied our answer for this question. So the answer would be letter A. Let's check whether we are correct. All right. I hope you got that one, my dear math learners. If you didn't catch that one, you could rewind our discussion for this number. All right. Now, let us go to question number six. Which of the following is a monomial? Is it A, 5AB, B, 3PQ plus 1, C, XY minus 2YZ, or D, 6MN minus 5? I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, this is very, very easy. Why? Because talking about polynomials, it can be classified into four groups. The monomial, the binomial, the trinomial, and the multinomial. Now, talking about monomial, from the word itself, mono, it means one. And mial is the other term for term. So, that this is a polynomial with one term. So, if we could check our choices here, um, terms are separated by a plus and minus and there is only one choice here without a plus and minus making it a monomial so therefore that is letter a very good 5 a b let's check whether we are correct all right now let us go to question number seven which is not a correct verbal translation of 3x minus 2 is it a three times a number decreased by 2 b the product of 3 and a number minus C, the difference between uh, the difference of 3 and a number diminished by 2. Or letter D, 3 times a number subtracted by 2. I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. So my dear math learners, we are now looking for a statement that is not a translation for 3x minus 2. So, if we could consider letter A, 3 times a number decreased by 2, 3 times a number decreased by 2, that is correct. For letter B, the product of 3 and a number, the product of 3 and a number, that is 3x minus 2, that is also correct. Letter C, the difference of 3 and a number, the difference of 3 and a number, so that would be 3 minus x. So, letter C is already our correct answer for this question because this statement is not the verbal translation. All right, so letter C is the correct answer. Let's check whether we are correct. All right, my dear math learners. Now, let us go to question number eight. Of course, before uh, proceeding to number eight, be careful of the question that are um, negating the statement. Example, we have not or we have the word except. All right, so 
Let us go to number 8. What is the mathematical translation of 6 times a number n increased by 3? Is it A, 6 times the quantity n plus 3, B, 6n plus 3, C, 6 plus 3n, or D, 6n plus 3n? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, in order for us to translate this, we could go back to the statement. It says here 6 times a number. So if we multiply a number and a variable, that would just put the putting them together. So 6n. Okay, so among the choices here, we have b and d that satisfy. So we have here increased by 3. So increased by 3, it means plus 3. So that is already for our letter b answer okay so let's check whether we are correct all right so now let us go to question number nine subtract the quantity 4x plus 3 minus the quantity 6x plus 1 is it a negative 2x plus 2 b 2x minus 2 c negative 2x minus 2 or letter d 2x plus 2 i'll give you five seconds to think about your answer Okay, my dear math learners, in subtracting algebraic expression or subtracting polynomials, importantly is we should always check or we should only combine or subtract like terms, meaning they have the same variables. All right. So if we check this one, so our 4x here only have a common term, which is this one, combine like terms. Okay. While our three here which do not have any variable the like term is this one the positive one so therefore since this is minus that would mean 4x minus 6x so 4 minus 6 that would be negative 2 so this could be our answer or this could be our answer already wrong for letter b and letter d now going to our constant terms we have 3 minus positive 1 so that would be 3 minus 1 so that is positive 2. So therefore, we have this one, letter A, as our correct answer. Now let us check whether we are correct. Letter A. Alright, I hope you get that one, my dear math learners. Question number 10. Add the quantity 3x squared plus 6xy plus 2y squared plus the quantity 5x squared plus 4xy minus 3y squared. Is it A? 8x squared plus 10xy minus y squared. B, 8x squared plus 10xy plus y squared. C, 8x squared minus 10xy minus y squared. Or letter D, 8x squared minus 10xy plus y squared. I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, in order to answer this problem, we just need to apply what we have discussed earlier, and that is combine like terms. So if that would be the case, then our 3x squared here can be combined with 5x squared, giving us 8x squared. Okay, so all of the four choices have 8x squared. Next, our 6xy, which has the variable xy, can only be combined with 4xy so therefore 6xy plus 4xy that is positive 10xy so therefore letter c and letter d are already wrong so we only have a and b lastly we have positive 2y squared plus positive minus 3y squared so that means we will be adding a positive number to a negative number so therefore positive 2 plus negative 3 that would give us negative 1 or since we have a variable y squared then that is automatically written as negative y squared or minus y squared so that would be our letter a let's check whether we are correct all right my dear math learners so i just like to congratulate you for finishing the first part of our reviewer series if you find this very helpful to you and to your classmates as well as to your friends please click that subscribe button and notification bell as well as sharing it to your fellow friends classmates and schoolmates now without further ado let's go to the part two